Capitol gates locked and marked off with yellow police signs. Texas DPS troopers roaming the grounds, even some on bikes. This is what the Capitol grounds looks like Saturday afternoon, prepared for anything that might happen. DPS releasing this statement on their preparations after the FBI warned them about possible armed protests. Quote, we are working with federal, state, and local law enforcement, including the FBI, and our perimeter fences are locked with barriers in place. However, it's been quiet today and not very many people. On the outside of the gates, only a handful of people showed up. We've been down here when there's been thousands of people. And today's very quiet. Carol Baker and David Grog set up shop right outside the front gates of Capitol grounds. Not to protest, but they say to represent America. Another side of America, present a kinder face. This is um, Ashley Babbitt, the woman who was shot. I wanted to memorialize for myself what went on on Jan January 6th. It came to my consciousness that maybe I should document the people who died. Trump supporters came and went throughout the day. This man, who did not want to be named, carried around a gun and baton. He says he just wanted to see what might happen. You know, I want to see it with my own eyes. I go kayaking like this, alone, with nobody. You know, I, I just, you know, love Second Amendment. I love my firearm. DPS says they will be at the state capitol until at least January 20th, out of an abundance of caution after the FBI released that statement. Pretty unprecedented. Uh, frankly, it's a remarkable statement coming from the FBI. Former FBI agent Brian Lynch says even though not many protesters showed up for the first day of expected protests, it's unlikely that the local, state, and federal law enforcement officials will let up on their safety precautions. Typically, we'll maintain that status quo through the end of whatever the uh, date of, of concern might be. In this particular date, it's obviously the inauguration date.